All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So to be completely honest, I am quite shocked at this new development. I did not see this coming at all. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys expected it, but I definitely didn't. Um, I always thought that if an LR was gonna get an Extreme Z Awakening, the first one at least would be for the Tech LR Super Saiyan Goku, the OG Prime Battle LR, right? I always thought that he would be the first unit, or the first LR unit, to get an Extreme Z Awakening, but as it turns out, Bandai decided that the first Extreme Z Awakening for an LR in the history of Dokkan would instead be for the new STR LR Goku Black or Zamasu Bracket Goku, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I'm quite surprised, man. I really, really did not see this coming at all, but uh, it's happening for part three of the five year anniversary. So without further ado, let's dive into the details and see what he looks like. So let's just go back and forth between the original details and then the Extreme Z Awakened details to see what the differences are. So starting with the leader skill, the original leader skill was Time Traveler's Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 77%. Post Extreme Z Awakening, it becomes Time Traveler's Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100%, so a 23% increase right there. And then for his super attacks, of course the actual animations and the actual attack Actually the same, but I believe that the change to the 12 key is that instead of just lowering defense, it now causes colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. And then for the uh, 18 key super, it used to be it raises defense for one turn, it causes mega colossal damage. Now it's raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. All right, so now he gets an attack boost as well. And as far as the passive goes, instead of attack and defense plus 50%, it's now attack and defense plus 59%. And then instead of key plus one with each attack received up to five, it's now key plus one with each attack received up to six. So one more key right there. And then for the second part, it's launched, or the third part rather, it launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies. I believe I believe that stays exactly the same, right? So it launches an additional super attack, or rather an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies. So that stays the same. And for the last part, it used to be plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered up to 50%. It is now attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered up to 59%. So the major changes is attack and defense plus 59% as opposed to 50%. One more key and also 59% uh, instead of 50% for the final part here. So overall, not major changes, but it will make a difference for sure. And as far as his level cap, it actually stays the same. So the maximum level you can get him to is still gonna be 150 post Extreme Z Awakening, but his super attack is gonna go up to 25. So five more levels for the super attack. I'm not really sure what kind of difference that's gonna make, to be honest, as far as his damage output is concerned. Obviously, he is gonna be doing more damage. I mean, that in addition to the extra 9% here and the 9% here, um, and also the extra attack on the 18k super, it's definitely gonna make a difference. How big of a difference, though, I'm not really sure, and uh, I don't think we'll find out until we you know, actually see some showcases and you know some calculations out there so i can't really give you that information but all i can tell you is that his max super attack level does go up to 25 max level uh stays the same and uh, a few changes to the leader skill passive super attacks all that stuff so uh yeah there you go guys first extreme z awakening for an lr in the history of dokkan um hopefully this becomes a trend in the future and we actually start seeing some ezas for the other prime battle lrs like the tech goku like the str um frieza the, uh, I mean, I guess the newer ones don't really need them. Like Trunks getting one would be nice, but I don't really think that Cell needs one. Uh, Vegeta's still pretty solid, but hey, if they want to give them Extreme Z Awakenings, I'm totally down. And also for the OG Androids, actually, that's definitely the one I personally want to see the most. So make it happen, Bandai, all right? So that's all we know about the LR uh, Goku Black Extreme Z Awakening at the moment. Oh, also it is going to be an extreme Z area, not a 
regular Extreme Z battle event, which I'm sure a lot of you are going to be disappointed to hear, but it is what it is, man. I mean, it seems like these days they just don't want to give full Extreme Z Awakening or Extreme Z battle events to these free to play units, even if it is an LR. Um, obviously, it's happened in the past with like the Kid Gohan and AGL Piccolo and so on and so forth, but these days it seems like. You know, all free-to-play units will be getting Extreme Z Awakenings as opposed to Extreme Z Battles, and this Goku will also be getting an Extreme Z area. So yeah, I know, kind of sucks, but what can you do? So uh, moving on, aside from the Goku Extreme Z Awakening, there are also a few other things we learned from the data download, namely that the mission to recover the 55th ticket for that free 55 unit multi and also a guaranteed LR is to just complete five levels, any five levels, and uh, you'll get the ticket, you'll complete the mission. So uh, once that mission becomes available, just clear five stages, any stages, and you will get your final ticket to do your 55 unit multi. So people can stop asking about how to get the ticket, we now know. And uh, good luck with their multis, guys. Hopefully everybody pulls what they want or maybe even pull multiple LRs in that multi. That'd be pretty dope. Good luck, all right? So uh, what else is there? Okay, so the Extreme Z area is gonna be dropping on the 21st, which is in two days. And uh, there's also a new um, OST for something. I'm not really sure what it is. Wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. This, this is not the OST. This is the um, new video that we're gonna get in the beginning uh, when we first log in for part three. So let me play that real quick for you. It's uh, it's pretty nice. I don't really know exactly where we're supposed to learn from it, to be honest, because we got the Fizz Broly, we got the AGL Zamasu, and then we got AGL Gogeta and Fizz Vegito Blue. Then we got the old wallpaper, and the bottom one is actually the, a new wallpaper we're getting for part three of the anniversary. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really reveal any new units, but it, it's cool. I don't really know like what we're, to, what we're supposed to learn from it, though, because the first trailer, we learned that we're getting the Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegito, and then for the second trailer, we learned we're getting the um, free-to-play uh, LR Goku Black, and also the Broly, Chi-Lai, and Lemo, but this one doesn't really reveal any new units, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but it, it's a dope animation, I like it. And then here is the actual wallpaper that we're getting, and it looks really dope, just like the um, Gogeta versus Broly. I love the art here, it is like the same quality as the other one, and it's awesome. Really, really top-notch stuff right there. And uh, one other thing I think that we might also be getting, not confirmed, but a lot of people seem to think that all these assets that were found um, in the game files uh, is gonna be for a Zamasu emerged Zamasu raid boss just like the Perfect Cell raid boss and the Omega Shenron raid boss it's gonna be just like that for part 3 of the anniversary so uh, that's gonna be pretty cool so uh, aside from that we don't have any any information about the ultimate super battle road event i wish i could tell you more about it but at the moment i don't think there's anything new at least in the game files that uh, tells us more about that event so no information about ultimate super battle road but we got the raid boss here we got uh, oh here's the new ost for maybe the raid boss event or something like that i'm not really sure and uh new wallpaper uh extreme z awakening for lr goku black the events dropping on the 21st. This is how we get the final ticket to just complete five levels. And uh, no information about a summonable unit either, actually. That's one other thing I was curious to find out. And some people seem to think, I was talking to uh, Nolara, right? And he seems to think that there's gonna be no you know, new summonable unit for part three, which I guess is possible because we already got so much for part one and part two, and people kind of just need to save stones at this point. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe there's gonna be no summonable unit. Maybe they're still withholding that information for now and just gonna surprise us. Um, just with like a surprise drop or something like that. Who knows? That'd be dope. But either way, I'd be okay with whatever. I'm actually kind of summoned out at this point. I've summoned enough for the last couple weeks. So I'd be 100% okay with no new summonable units. But uh, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about LR Goku Black's Extreme Z Awakening. 
did you see it coming or were you like me and you know was completely hot off guard either way comment down below I would love to hear what you guys say, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.